Hey guys, Chris with Wandering Wolby. Are you headed on a cruise soon and are pondering the wonderful question as to whether you should purchase the drink package or not? Are you looking to cut costs or are you thinking, is there a way around this whole drink thing? Can I bring my own drinks aboard? Well, I got a few tips and tricks that might help you out. Stick around next. <laughs> First off, I'm going on a cruise this week, actually, in two days, and uh, we're going on Anthem of the Seas, which is out of New York City, uh, it's Royal Caribbean. So I'm going to read the rules that they have about bringing alcoholic beverages on board, or any other beverage for that matter. On boarding day, each stateroom may bring up to two 750 milliliter bottles of wine or champagne, as long as one guest is of legal drinking age. On top of that, you're also allowed 12 standard 17 ounce cans, bottles, or cartons per stateroom. That's great, they'll let you bring two bottles of wine per stateroom. And sometimes I question whether there's a way to get around that. I haven't tried to bring more than two bottles. Stick with two so you don't get them taken because you have to bring them on your carry-on when you come on the cruise. Bottle of red, Syrah. Bottle of white, Pinot Grigio. So this is great. We're starting out with this. So basically, I love gin and tonics. So I could start off with my carry-on, it's got free, and bring cans of tonic water for my gin and tonics. Great spirits deserve spectacular tonic water. So this is spectacular tonic water. And I've had it before, and it, it's tonic water. It tastes good um, with the gin. What I do is I get, there's four in here, so I get 12 of these guys. And I really, I could probably, carry on for these and I doubt they would give me any problems with it but since it's not alcoholic. So I have my tonic for my gin but and I have two bottles of wine. But how am I gonna get the gin on? Well I'd like to introduce you to the what I call rum runner. There's other names for them. They're plastic flasks basically. So these guys are wonderful. I've used them a few times now and have never had an issue. My parents have used these years upon years. And what you do is you fill these guys up with your, your liquor that you, you enjoy. And um, since it's no metals, it's just you know plastic, you can put it in your luggage and they They've never taken them away from us, so I don't know if they can't detect it. I imagine they see it on the scanner, but they're not concerned with it, or they just don't realize what it is. I can't believe that they don't know what it is, or maybe they just say, oh, they turn a blind eye to it. We've always done this. So, what I do is, I pour my Crystal Palace gin, the finest, <laughs> into my, my plastic flask here, and we're good to go on gin and tonics and also my family loves their Manhattans so I'll fill the one with gin and then I'll fill another one of these with um, I don't have my my um, Seagram 7 but I'll fill it with Seagram 7 this is wild turkey I gotta um, buy some Seagram 7 before we leave in two days and I'd fill this with Seagram 7 and I've got my sweet vermouth here um, I probably wouldn't do a large thing of Sweet Vermouth because it's two shots of the uh, Seagram 7 to one shot of Sweet Vermouth. So I have littler guys like these, so it might do two little guys. I don't know, haven't decided yet. But anyways, that is how I get my liquor aboard and it saves us money. Two days later. Sure. Moment of truth. Uh, uh, do you think Look that our so our liquor has made it on board? I think so. I think so too. Huh. Our bags, uh, they look unopened. So we're gonna take a look. There's one. And there's two. We did it. Really worry about your liquor. Yes. And 
liquor number three. So guys, I think that's it for this video. Uh, I hope that these tips and tricks are helpful to some of you that are going on a cruise soon. Um, if you agree or don't agree or have your own ideas and tips and tricks for getting alcohol on board and uh, saving money on alcohol on a cruise, uh, leave your comments below. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please click that like button. And if you, are, uh, if you wanna see more video content from my brother Patrick and I at Wandering Wilby, please click that that subscribe button and click the little bell so you keep getting notifications from us. So guys, until next time, get out and explore.